I'm Matt and I'm the service manager for Rebel Master America and today I'm going to show you what to check for daily maintenance on our RM90 Go. The first thing you want to check in the morning in the engine compartment is the air filter and the oil. We're going to open the air filter cover. Pull the outer air filter off and we're going to tap all the dirt out. You're going to check your inner filter. Replace your outer filter. Knock out any dust in the cover and replace. As soon as you see dust on the inner air filter, you need to replace both air filters. So after checking the air filter, you'll want to check the engine oil and the coolant level and visually inspect your uh, hydraulic oil level. Greasing the crusher is not a daily task, but you need to check your operator's manual for the greasing schedule. After we're done in the engine compartment, we're going to start with our visual inspections of our conveyor belts. We're going to check for rips and tears. We're going to check our magnet belt and see if there's any rips and tears in there. And then we're going to check our screening box. To check the slack, just want to give it a nice tug and see if it's loose on one side or the other. And then if it is, adjust. Adjusting a conveyor belt, you'd use these screws right here to tighten and loosen. If you find a puncture, you can use Flexco's to patch the belt or clip the sides to make it tight again. The best way to clean the screen deck is to fold the main conveyor up and visually look and take off any debris off the screens. To fold the main conveyor up, you want to push this button, lift this lever, and make sure you fold the main conveyor over 90 degrees for safety. After you clean your screen deck, you want to get up and check your pre-screen inside your feeder to make sure there's no debris or rocks keeping dirt from falling through the pre-screen, and that keeps your production going good. So every other day, you want to open your impact box and check your wear on your blow bars and your wear plates to make sure nothing's getting worn down too excessively. Uh, in highly abrasive material, you'll want to open it every day and check it. A good procedure to open up the impact box is to activate the release system and that lets any packed rocks or dirt fall down into the, onto the main belt before you open it. To open the impact chamber, you need to loosen up and remove the pins on both sides. When the crusher box is open, you want to visually inspect your tall blow bars, your short blow bars, and any check for any damage on your rotor. You want to visually inspect your wear plates throughout the crushing box. You can look up minimum wear tolerances in the operator's manual for your machine. So before you close the crusher box, you want to make sure all your rails are free of any dirt or rocks so you get metal on metal contact when you close. The right procedure to put the crusher in place is before you move the crusher, you want to visually inspect your tracks to make sure no tools or anything's left on them. After, when you move your crusher into place, you want to make sure your crusher is level from side to side. You should consult your operator's manual for more information on extra steps for your machine. And if you want to learn more about operating a crusher, contact us.